Hey, what's happening guys? Today we're going to talk about another classic circuit you should know. And this is the simple transistor inverter. You can look at it as a transistor not gate. Okay. This is really simple. Now you're going to say, why would I want to use a transistor inverter? when I could just use, you know, an inverter IC like a, you know, a hex inverter or something. Well, sometimes you don't need six inverters. Sometimes you just need one. And in that case, all you need to make it happen is an NPN transistor and a couple of resistors. Now, in this case, with a uh, 1K uh, collector resistor and a 10K base resistor, this would be good for, you know, TTL type stuff. If you want to use this on something with CMOS, it's going to have a higher input impedance. You know, yeah, maybe multiply these by a, a factor of 10 to reduce the current into the trans, uh, transistor, and it'll work okay. So, what we have here is from VCC to our collector, we have a 1K resistor. And then coming off of that is going to be our output. And then we have our base of the transistor going through a 10K resistor. And that's going to be our input. Notice both the input or the output and the input are tied to ground. That's how we get our complete circuit. Okay. So how this works is when the input signal is uh, zero volts, then the current can flow through this resistor and through the output and complete our circuit over here. But when our input is high, then we've opened up this gate and decreased the input impedance here and the current will flow through the transistor and our output will be low. Let me show you how it works. Here's the circuit set up exactly as we have it here. I have added an LED here just so you can see how it works. We'll hook it up to 5 volts. And you'll notice the base of the transistor is floating. Probably not a good idea. But no input on the base causes the output to go high. And if we make the input zero, the output is also high. But if we make the input high, then the output goes low. Pretty simple. But a very useful circuit and something that, you know, you can throw in to a, a, a design that you're working on really quick. I'm using a 2N2222A transistor. Any NPN transistor will work. Again, this is a 1K. This is a 10K. You know, figure out what you're going to need in terms of current. And you can, I mean, you can play with those values. I, I tend to stick with multiples of 10 just because it's easy to calculate in my head. But, you know, you don't have to do it that way. You can do it in whatever way you want. All right, with our original uh, 1K and 10K resistors and the transistor uh, forward biased in the conducting position, you see we're getting five and a half milliamps through it. And then when we put it in the non-conducting or off position where this is on, you can see the current is zero. So let's switch and put a 10K and a 100K in here and see how that changes things around. All right, so here's our 1K and our 10K. We'll take the 1K away and we'll move the 10K into the collector position. And we'll put 100K into the base position. Then we'll power it back up here. All 
notice the light on the LED has gone down considerably. Oops. So we were at five and a half milliamps before. Now we've taken it down to a half of a milliamp. So just keep that in mind as a way that you can control the current through the transistor. Keep it low, keep the transistor cool so you know it doesn't go into a thermal runaway situation because we're not using uh, an emitter resistor in this case. Because trying to keep this as simple as possible, as few components as possible, just a simple circuit, the transistor inverter. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.